In this video, we will introduce you to RetroNews, the press site of the National Library of France, BNF. RetroNews is a site entirely dedicated to the historical press. It offers more than 400 newspapers, magazines and journals published between 1631 and 1945. That is 9 million pages of digitized periodicals. An editorial section is provided along with the archives. It is made up of articles to acquaint readers with the history of France and the world. Both a powerful search tool and a media site, RetroNews has two faces and is intended for teacher researchers as well as their students. In this brief video, we will first look at RetroNews Press Archive and its advanced search features. Then we will explore the media side of RetroNews, which revisits history through its archives. Lastly, we will share with you some of our upcoming development plans. And we will conclude this presentation with practical details about our group subscription. Let's take a closer look at Retro News as a press archive. Behind Retro News lies a vast digitization program offering access to numerous titles available nowhere else. Each month, the service is announced with new historical press titles, so as to cover history in its full geographical and political reach and from different points of view. The page Titre de Presse, Press Titles, presents all the newspapers available on Retro News. You can search through the publications by keyword and apply filters. Today, Retro News offers almost 100 major national dailies, such as Le Figaro, Le Petit Parisien and Le Journal. More than 70 regional press publications, such as La Petite Gironde, Le Petit Marseillais or L'Ouest Éclair, along with more specialized publications. For instance, the trade, economic, satirical, literary or recreational press. Each periodical has its own landing page, including a brief note on its history, bibliographic data, and the main contributors to the publication. To explore the archive, Retro News offers three search modes. The suggested search gives you five search IDs reflecting the topics covered by the editorial team. The assisted search comes with two filters, one by period and the other by theme to set you on the right track. Lastly, the features in the advanced search enable you to submit very refined queries. You can filter your results, for instance, by date, press title, place of publication, or frequency. As an example, let's do an advanced search on Joseph Kessel. I'll type the word in exact expression, limiting the request to the period from 1910 to 1945. I want to only see those results that come from Paris Soir, with the additional criterion that the results must have been featured on the newspaper's front page. And here are the results. The left-hand column contains multiple filters, so that you can further refine your search. Some of the filters are basic, such as date or title. Others are multifaceted, deriving from semantic processing that identifies people places, organizations, themes, and others. Lastly, you can save your search to come back to it later. Another feature of Retro News allows you to search how frequently a term appears in the press archive. It shows the occurrences of one or more terms in the press over your selected period. For example, a search on the terms bicycle, automobile, and plane between 1900 and 1945 yields the following curves, which show the emergence of these terms in the press of the time, reflecting the adoption of the respective technologies. Each point on the graph gives you direct access to the related publications and pages. Once you have selected the item of interest to you, you will see it displayed in a reader specifically designed for the very tightly packed pages of newspapers. You can zoom in, switch to full screen, and use the various tools to classify, quote, cut, download, and annotate the documents. 
All our archives have been processed semantically, making it possible in particular to identify the entities to which reference is made. The name of persons, places and organizations can be highlighted in the reader. The calendar allows you to navigate within the issues of a newspaper without having to return to the results page. A red badge indicates the number of occurrences of your search in other issues of the same title. Retro News is also a media with a magazine section where researchers, journalists and academics offer articles, analysis and stories to capture the past through the press of the time. By placing the writings of the time in their cultural, political and media context, our articles shed light on events in history, large and small, over the last three centuries. Retro News also offers audio documents, emblematic articles read by actors, so that you can hear the press. Listen to great authors such as Émile Zola proclaiming his famous J'accuse in 1898, or revisit eyewitness accounts of great moments in history as the one of General Lacoste's death. Retro News is constantly being improved to offer you intuitive access to our ever-growing archive. The ongoing digitization project is aimed at adding 10 million pages. That is about 1,500 further periodicals. This will bring our archives database to 18 million pages in 2019. We are also improving the Optical Character Recognition, OCR, and semantic processing on the entire collection to better address the specific typography of newspapers and offer you an even better research experience. For schools and institutes of higher learning, Retro News offers group subscriptions priced according to the size of the establishment. A subscription includes unlimited local and remote access to all editorial content and expert tools in the reader module. If you are interested in a free trial or demonstration for your establishment or have any other questions, feel free to contact us. You can reach me by mail at caroline.kagenek at bnf.fr. Thank you for your attention.